in typical 2020 fashion, something had to go wrong. What is going on everybody? Big Red here. Welcome to your favorite day of the week. That is right, it is time for your Wacky Weekend Update. I got three articles for you guys, all of which are so good. Oh, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So now that the holidays are officially wrapped up, I figured why not touch on some funny stuff that happened throughout the holiday season, which leads us into article number one. Okay, article number one reads, California man dressed as Santa gets stuck in power lines. So now this article goes on to read that a man operating a powered parachute, which I guess just is like a big fan on the back with a parachute on top. I don't really know what the heck that means. But his thing is that every year around Christmas time, what he does, he goes and flies around on this little parachute dressed as Santa and basically throws candy canes at kids. And everybody loves them. Everybody comes out to see them. They're all for them. So... In typical 2020 fashion, something had to go wrong. So during Santa's travels, okay, he found himself in a mix of power lines flying around in California and sadly became tangled up in said power lines, unable to deliver candy to these kids, which is really quite a shame, but kind of funny to see this guy who really couldn't do anything hanging from these power lines dressed as Santa, and, I mean, if I was him, I would just be throwing candy canes out at that point. Uh, I believe the article said that he was up there for about an hour before they were able to get him down, which, I mean, does 2020 get any better than that, right? Even Santa's getting screwed on this one, so at least 2020's over, right? We, we can all be happy about that. Article number two comes out of the Mirror in the UK. Okay, and reads, waitress left with no faith in humanity after customer leaves rude note. Now, going on reading this article, okay, you know, she talks about how tough the service industry is, you know, on a, in normal times. Okay, now with the pandemic going on and everything like that, it's even worse, which I completely understand. You know, it's, it's tough. It's not, nobody had, nobody's, nobody's having a good time. Let's be real. All right, but as you can see here in this picture, the customer left the note on the bottom of the receipt saying, learn to smile. That is not cool. The funniest part about this entire thing is that even in the UK right now, in restaurants, you are still, the workers have to wear masks. So how could this person know that she wasn't even smiling? If that's even the case. All right, but flip 22 now, flip 22, whatever. Other side of this, okay, maybe this waitress was just kind of mean the whole time and this was the nicest way they could have put it because that could very well happen too. I don't know. I wasn't there. It wasn't me that did it, but you never know. Either way, anything that I've learned in life is you never mess with somebody that deals with your food. If somebody is putting their hands on their food, whether it's a cook, a waiter, waitress, bartender, anything like that. Never be mean to them, because who knows what they're going to do to your food. And that's just something I go off of in my everyday life. You know, be nice to everybody, first of all. There's no reason not to be nice to people. But more so, coming from me especially, if they're handling your food, just be a good person. Be nice to them, all right? I was happy the fact that they actually left a tip because some people will just be complete a-holes and not even tip if they're going to leave something rude like that. But you don't want them spitting in your food. They're going to know what you look like next time. This person's on your radar now, so they're seeing you. They're right down scope. They're looking. They're looking for you. All right? I doubt you'll be going back to that place. My last and final article of the week is a doozy, so... Sit down and get ready for this one, because as you can see here, it reads, Urban Outfitters forced to recall thousands of flammable candle holders. Yes, flammable candle holders. 
Now, I'm no scientist or anything, but I'm pretty sure that if you're going to make an item that is made to hold something that burns fire, you probably shouldn't make that flammable because that's just not smart. Okay? <sighs> Come on. So this article goes on to read that the resin that the candle holders were made out of is extremely flammable, and if it comes in contact with something that is hot and or flammable or fire, it will catch on fire. Who's paying these people, all right? Because if I'm, if this is Urban Outfitters, man, pay me, all right? I'll sit there and tell you that, yeah, you probably shouldn't make that if it's going to be flammable, okay? It's supposed to hold candles. Candles go on fire. Fire, flammable, not good. Don't do it. Just makes me think that the person that probably was in charge of this entire thing is out there making, God knows, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I'm just an unmonetized YouTuber here, okay? And I know better than you. Urban Outfitters, if you're watching this, please call me. I'll take over this division for you. I got you. Those are your three articles for the week. I hope everybody enjoyed. Please make sure, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all right? Turn that little notification bell on so you don't miss anything that's going on here. If you're watching this now, the Red Hair Don't Care podcast is live, and it is a good one. Please go check it out, okay? It'll be up on YouTube tomorrow, and you can watch it there. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the love. I will catch you on Thursday. So thank you for paying paying attention